In the previous lesson, we went over the different methods for holding your drawing pencil. One of those methods requires that your pencil be sharpened in a certain way. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do just that. The most common way to sharpen a pencil is to use a pencil sharpener like this. Now this is a perfectly fine way to sharpen a pencil, and in fact I do it all the time. But it only allows you to use the tip of the pencil for drawing. But by sharpening your pencil to look like this, you'll not only be able to use the tip of the pencil, but also the side of the pencil as well. This allows you to manipulate the pencil in many interesting ways. Also, it will make shading a lot easier and faster than just using the tip as you can cover more surface area. So here's how to sharpen your pencil to look like this. First, you can use a regular pencil sharpener to get a tip started. Then use a razor blade or X-Acto knife to strip away some of the wood to expose more of the lead. I like to use these razor blades. You can get a whole box of them for just a few dollars at a home improvement store or purchase them online. I'll include a link to it in the description. Hold the pencil in one hand like so. Hold the razor blade in the other hand with the blade pointing away from you. Then use your thumb to push the blade forward while pulling the pencil back slightly. Rotate the pencil as you go. And of course, be very careful not to cut yourself. As you get closer and closer to the lead, try to only take off a thin layer of wood at a time so that you don't risk going too far and cutting into the lead. You'll want to keep doing this until you have about an inch of lead exposed and there's a smooth taper from the wood to the lead. At this point, if we try to use the side of the pencil, we'll get very uneven tones and sharp edges. So we'll have to smooth out the pencil so that it looks more like this. To do this, you can use sandpaper to smooth it down. You can go forward and backward or side to side. Rotate the pencil frequently to keep things even. Be careful not to push too hard on the pencil as you can break the lead. If this does happen, don't worry, it's very common in the beginning. As you become better at this, you'll break the pencil much less often. Then wipe off the excess powder and the pencil is ready for drawing. If you're going to use the side of the pencil for a lot of shading, remember to rotate it frequently so you can maintain the smooth contour of the lead. If you keep using just one side, the pencil will develop a bevel and you'll have to resharpen it again. If you're going to use the tip of the pencil a lot, it will obviously become dull over time. In which case, you can resharpen it with the sandpaper or you can use the time when you're shading with the side to resharpen the tip. By switching back and forth between using the tip and the side, you'll get a lot more mileage out of your pencil between each sharpening. For this week's giveaway, the prize will be a $20 Amazon gift card. To win, all you have to do is click on that link right there to go to the Facebook post for this lesson. Then simply share and like the post to enter. A winner will be randomly selected on this date, so make sure you get your submission in before then. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, I release a new video every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, happy drawing.